Hello, I am Amber Meyer and I'm a soul alignment coach and I love connecting people to the magic of the Akashic Records and the angels and that is what I'm here to do today. I am here to share with you your angel and Akashic Record reading for the collective for the week of May 1st through 7th. And so I opened up the Akashic Records and I invited the angels in and I simply asked what love, guidance, and healing can they share with us this week? And this week, Archangel Ariel came in right away. And for those of you who aren't as familiar with her, um, I find her to have this amazingly beautiful feminine energy. But at the same time, she also has this really badass warrior energy about her. So I just love working with her. And she is uh, angel of many things. And so she oversees animals, the environment, manifestation. Uh, she also helps others have courage. And that is what she's here today to help us with. And she mm -hmm. says that she's here to help you have courage to be more you. She says that the key to our soul growth is to become our truest selves. And that can take a lot of courage. Our growth and our healing requires us to unbecome many of the things that we've learned to become through this life or even through many lifetimes. Over time, our identities and our lives can lose authenticity as we experience big or little traumas then, and we are told who we are, who we aren't, and we succumb to all the shoulds that we either hear from others or we place upon ourselves. And we can continue on this path until we've shrunk ourselves and our identities to only fit in a tiny, restrictive little box, often feeling afraid or even guilty to step outside these self-imposed bounds. So Archangel Ariel wants to help us step outside these bounds to help you drop the false beliefs about yourself and your life and help you claim your truest, deepest self. And so she wants you to start to question your beliefs and who you are where it can feel really good to feel firm and secure in yourself and your beliefs. If you don't question or challenge these things on occasion, you actually lose the opportunity to grow and become even more of who you are. She wants us to remember that all growth requires some sort of change, even if it's a change of thought or a belief that you have about yourself. So don't be so firm on who you are that you lose the opportunity to discover more of who you truly are. And so she's asking you to reflect on your black and white thinking about yourself first. For example, the things that you think you always are or have to be, or the things that you think you never are or can't be. Those things you're like, oh, I never could do that. That's not me. There's probably you in that. So reflect on those for sure. She's also asking you to reflect on the things um, and feel into what else might be true for you. She's reminding us that we try to prove whatever it is that we say and think about ourselves, whether it's positive or negative. So whatever it is that you believe about yourself or think about yourself, make it positive or something that helps or supports you. So this week, your guides in the Akashic Records and Archangel Ariel want you to question what you believe to be true about yourself. Really look at the beliefs that hold you back. Allow yourself to see what else is possible for you. Break out of that box that you've packed yourself so tightly into. Ariel is often seen with lions to represent having courage. And so she's sharing the strength and courage of her lions with you this week. So look for lions out in the world with you. She wants you to come up with at least one false belief that you have held about yourself and release it to her and your angels this week. I hope you have a fun week expanding the boundaries of who you are this week. Until next week, lots of love to you.